This is Chelsea from digitalartteacher.com. For this tutorial series, we'll be creating a little book that will highlight each of the principles of design. Thus, we will need to learn how to manage multiple pages within InDesign. In this video, we'll discuss how to use the Pages panel and how to take advantage of the Master Page. First, click on the Pages tab in the right panel. Here you'll see the page spreads for your whole document. If you remember back to the first video in this series, we created what's called facing pages. This creates these pages with two pages right next to each other, like a book or a magazine. If you were to create a document without this checked, your pages panel will only show single pages, like so. Non-facing publications may include a double-sided flyer, a business card, a single page menu, and a lot more. But back to our project. If you zoom out enough, you'll see the pages in the document should mimic the ones in the pages panel. There is a single page at the top and at the bottom, and they will become the front and back cover. As mentioned in the last video, you can use the view commands to change the zoom within the document. To switch from page to page in your document, you can double click on whatever page you'd like to see. Now, if you're zoomed out this far, it may not seem to make a difference, but if I zoom in to say the first page and then double click, it'll take me directly to that page. You can also go to the properties panel and click on the page you'd like to see. The properties panel currently shows the options for the page size and setup. These settings remain here as long as you have nothing selected, but the moment you select something, the properties will change. We've already discussed the contents of the properties panel with nothing selected on an earlier page, but I wanna hone in a little on the guides. You've got these half inch guides that you can see or turn off. We'll talk about these in a later video, but it's a good idea to leave these guides on, that way you don't put any important information outside of this space. A lot of printers will cut off some or all of this space when they print. Now let's hone in on what's called the master page. If you click on this drop down and go down and click a master, now you are on the master page and it seems like it's gotten rid of the rest of your pages, but in reality we're just looking at what's called the master page. Anything you put on here will appear on all of the pages in your document. This becomes handy when you're wanting to place constant elements on your pages like page numbers, footer content, or perhaps a logo on every page. And it's a great way to create repetition within your work. Let's look at how some other page spreads create this kind of repetition. I just went to the web and I typed magazine article layout. And if we click on images here, you can see some elements that might appear on every page. For example, this horizontal line and the magazine title, or perhaps a page number, article titles, horizontal lines across the bottom, and here's another way that they do their magazine title a date and a magazine title, and so on and so forth. There are a lot of different things that you can place on your master page. But for now, let's just add the title of our little magazine to each page of the document. You can think of a fun and creative title if you want to, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to make it say Principles of Design. Get your text tool and click and drag in the corner of your master page. Type your title. Now, when we go back to the other pages in our project, we will see the words principles of design on the left facing page on every page spread. And if you zoom in, you can see the dotted lines that are the text box. This means that as I place other elements, I won't be moving or changing that title it will stay there no matter what I do. 
Now, explore the different parts of the Properties panel when nothing is selected, and add a title to the master page of your document. Once you've done both of those things, I'll see you in the next video.